Which you guys got another video on how to control case fan speed for quieter PC. If you've got a PC that has a lot of fans in it, the first thing you're going to want to do is to control those fans. And you can use fan control to do that for free. It's a free piece of software that you can get from GitHub. And I'll leave a link in the video description. Now, when you build your PC, all of the fans are going to be spinning at 100%. And you may want to control these by setting fan curves to be able to control all of the speeds for each individual fan. Maybe you've got some front fans, some radiator fans, or you've got an exhaust fan, or your graphics cards fans. These can all be controlled with fan control. So I'm going to download this here, and we're going to extract this into our downloads folder, and then I'll move this folder to a location uh, where I'm not going to delete it. So here is our fan controller folder. I'm going to copy this to my C root directory. You can put it wherever you like, wherever it's safe and you're not going to delete. So let's uh, cut this and paste it into a new location. There we go. I'm going to paste it into my C root directory. And there it is there. So let's go ahead and open up the fan control folder. And you should see a bunch of uh, files in here. What we're going to do is click on the fancontrol.exe. Now you can create a shortcut to this to your taskbar or to your desktop or wherever it is you want to set it up to. I'm going to open up this and send this to my taskbar here. So you can see pin to taskbar, that'll do. So I can always click on it rather than go to the folder. And from here, what we can do now is click on the fancontrol.exe file. This will open up this welcome screen here, click OK. So I'm going to say yes here to proceed with the assisted setup of our software. Now it's going to ask us to set up some sensor settings here. So I'm going to have motherboard, CPU, GPU, and also we can leave some of these other options enabled here. But just select which ones you want to select for yours. I'm going to leave these as is, and then I'm going to click OK here. What will happen now is when we click OK, is it's going to take us to the next window where it's going to start to control and speed pairing. This is basically going to run in the background. You may hear the fans ramping up in speed, and this is pretty normal. And then it will drop down in speed, and it's going to go through every single fan header on your motherboard to find the fans that are in your system. It'll also find your GPU fans. So while it's going through this control speed and pairing process, you may even see your fans stop and start. And this is because it wants to detect your fans and you can see it's going through the stop and detection rate here. So what fan control is doing is basically detecting all of the fans inside that computer, whether it be your GPU or water pump, or whether it's going to be your front fans, your rear fan, or maybe you have some fans on the bottom. Loads of fans nowadays people have in their cases. This is going to start and detect all of these. Once it's done all of this, it's going to test each individual fan so it knows exactly what fans are what and what header they're on. And then we can control them individually uh, after it's finished all of its detection. OK, so now fan control has finished doing all of its configuration. What we need to do now is identify each individual fan and name it because at the moment it's just called fan one, two, three, four, five and so on. So we now need to give these names so we know exactly what fans are what. Now, the way we can do this is pretty simple. All we need to do is just pull the sliders up or down. And what I'm going to do is turn them off, basically temporarily just turn this off and see the fans stop inside my case. You can see them now going to zero. And now we will be able to detect which fans are what on our system. So if this was our front fans, we can now call these front fans. If it's our radiator fans, we can call them radiator fans or pump. We can call it pump and so on and so on. That's all you need to do now is identify them and name them to something that you would recognize. So these are my front fans. So I'm going to call these front fans and you can call yours whatever you like, but I'm just going to call these front fans here so you get an idea. Now we can put the uh, speed back up a bit. And just follow the same process until you've renamed all of them so you understand what they are. Now you can configure the settings here. So put start minimized, start uh, at user logon, and you can set this to exactly how you like. Once you've done this, you can click OK and move on with the next set of uh, configurations that you might want to do. So now we have all of our settings done. We've got all our fans named. 
all you can do here now is you can start to mess around with your fans. So for instance, this is one here on the front of my case. I can hit the three dots and you can mess around with some of the settings. You can go to manual control and you can manually control these fans. So you can have them at 50%, you can have them at 40% or you can have them right at 100%, whatever you want to do here. So you can have your fans spinning at whatever uh, speed you like and this is on the manual setting but what if you want to do this automatically and have these being controlled automatically well you don't want to set it to manual so what you want to do is go back and remove the check mark from manual control and right here on the curve section you can use the flat line curve example right here and this is going to be set to what we have down on the bottom left here so here we can set it to 50% and you can turn on all of these to, say, 50% on your fan curve. And you can edit your fan curve and set it up how you like. You can call this whatever you want. It doesn't have to be called flat line curve example. You can call it whatever you like. Anyone that you want to be controlled via this method, you can just toggle on. For instance, if you want to turn them all on, you can do. If you have a pump, you might not want to control it in that manner. And you can control it in another way. Now, if you want to configure and get more advanced into this, you can go into the advanced settings, which are down on the bottom right hand side on this plus section. Click on this and you can now see an offset file, uh, time average, and you can also see mix. And there's also another section right here. Auto, we have sync. We also have flat, trigger, mix, graph and linear. So they are your settings. Let's click on linear here. And this will open up another little panel called linear panel. Now you've got the temperature source. You need to check a temperature source. So whatever you want to put inside here, you can do. So for instance, if I wanted to do this for, say for instance, the core temperature for my CPU, I can select this one right here and it will then give me the core temperature for that CPU. If I wanted to do the temperature for the motherboard or for, say for instance, the GPU, you can do. So let's go ahead and select that one for now and we can then set this up and I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to be setting the uh, core temperature here and now you can see on the core temperature we've got this set to 66.7%. It's got a minimum temperature and a maximum temperature. These can be adjusted depending on how you want to set yours. Every CPU is going to be different so you may want to set yours up slightly different depending on how hot or cool your CPU runs. So you can set up a minimum and a maximum, pretty straightforward. The minimum speed and the maximum speed below that is going to be for your fan speeds. Obviously, we're going to call this, say, CPU. Now, remember, the linear fan curve applies to a linear function based on the temperature source. So whatever you want to set yours up, it will be set up here. So let me go ahead and remove this, and I'm going to... Click the three dots and click delete. We're going to go back down to the plus and I'm going to go to graph and put a graph inside here. Now we have a graph set up here. So now we need to give this a name. Now remember, a graph is a fan curve applies to a custom function based on a temperature source. So now we can choose a source here, for instance, our GPU. So let's call this, say, GPU. And now we're setting up a graph for our GPU. Now we can click on edit here to edit our graph. So now we can go in. So now we can configure our graph. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's take a look down the bottom here. If we select one of these, it will give us a max temperature or minimum temperature. Depending on the max temperature you want to go to for your GPU, this will be listed here. This will be the maximum fan speed and also the maximum temperature. On the bottom left, it's the minimum fan speed and also the minimum temperature so we're going to go ahead and you can put in a couple of little extra ones here and you can right click on these and delete them so if you want to put more of these in you can do and you can set the graph to exactly how you want your graphics card to run so for instance whether it be a minimum temperature you want the fans to say 20 percent or whether you want them at a certain temperature you can do or you can have a maximum temperature and which is going to be the one at the very top so set yours up exactly how you like it. So now you can drag this across if you wanted to, to have the uh, minimum set to a certain temperature or a certain fan speed on the lower end. So depending on how you want to set yours up, 
this is how you would do it. You can add in a few more pointers if you want to and have a, a different type of fan curve. And this is going to be your uh, temperature for the actual maximum temperature for the GPU and the fan speed. So you want it ramped right up on that top end and the lower end you can set to a lower speed. So it's a lot more quieter when you're not doing anything, when you're idle, when you're just doing normal general tasks. So set yours up how you like and you can put in a couple of little more pointers here. This is the uh, point here where it says 100% fan speed we and uh, also temperature will be 70% because we've highlighted that and this is how you can set yours up and you can see it moving up the top here. This is how you would set this up. So it will be maximum 100% fan speed at 75%. The lowest point will be uh, set here. So depending on how you want to set yours. I don't want the fan spinning at 30 Celsius because it's too low and the fans don't need to spin at that point. You can add a couple of pointers in like this and you can also remove them depending on how you want to set yours up. Now no computer hardware is the same so you need to set yours up how you would like to set yours up. It's no good me giving you some suggestions because your GPU might be different to my GPU. Your CPU might be different to my CPU. Let's add another graph in here. We'll call this one CPU. And all you need to do here now is put, give it a name and select a, a temperature source here. So let's go ahead and select our uh, core clock here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up. Now, of course, this will determine on how hot your CPU runs on maximum. So when you're doing video editing or gaming, you might want to have the fans ramped up maximum. And you can set this up exactly how you set your GPU up. Obviously, your temperatures will vary on your CPU and you would obviously see differences in the type of CPU that you have on your system. Now, this AMD Ryzen 7700X does get a bit hot, so you might want to set up a fan curve here uh, to basically when you're doing moderate tasks, you want the fans to only be 50%. And once they are doing more like video editing, you might want them to kick up to 100% and you can set your fan curve up right here. Next, you've got the mix. Mix is another great little feature on here. The mix fan curve will combine multiple existing fan curves using a mixture function like max or average. And you can set this up how you like. So I've got GPU here. I've got CPU here. And I can have a mixture of these set up inside here. So let me quickly add one more in. And I'm going to leave this as GPU and CPU. And we've got it set to the max function. And again, we can now set this up exactly how we like. So you can see here, there is a little drop down here to max, average, minimum, sum and subtract. Now, once you've got this set up, you can have a mixture. So for instance, you've got three fan headers with all your fans on them. I don't have that on this system. But if you wanted to, you could toggle the ones on that you want the mix feature to control. For instance, you could toggle these all on. And uh, basically, let me just put some of these on to show you how it works. So I could do this, and you can see it's set to curve at the moment. But of course, you would need to change these all to mix. And these, would, of course, would be all of your fan headers. You wouldn't be doing all of your fans and have these all set to mix. You wouldn't be doing your radiator or your pump on the mix feature. I'm just showing you that this would be for your fans. So I've got, I haven't got that many fan headers on this board, but I'm just showing you that if you had like three or four of these, you'd have these all set to mix rather than setting your pump and, and uh, also your uh, radiator fans. You wouldn't do that with this feature, but basically that's how you would set the mix feature up and it would be set inside here. So very useful. And you could even get more advanced on this with setting up a trigger. So go in and set trigger. Now, the trigger fan curve will hold its fan speed until one or two changing point is triggered, and that's how it's going to work. You can read all of this information on their website. They have got a document up there that explains everything on what all of these features will actually do. And you've also got sync here as well, which actually uh, the sync fan curve will output the same percentage as the selected control. So that's all you need to do here. You can set this up how you like. I'd advise you to go over to their website. This is more the advanced section. But if you start with the graph settings, you should be fine for your GPU, CPU and fans. But you can see here on the trigger one, you can trigger an idle temp and a load temp. And you can set up your idle fan speed and your load fan speed and all this sort of stuff. It's a little bit too in-depth for this particular video. But if you want to do this yourself, by all means, head over to their 
uh, website and read some of their documentation. You can also set the themes on here by going into the theme section and set colors to suit all of your theme on your computer. If you have some sort of theme going on, color, RGB, all that sort of stuff, you can set this up here and you can set up also the colors there. Also inside the settings, you can adjust your settings at a later date to whatever you like here. Again, if you didn't set this up at the beginning, you can set this up and also add some plugins here as well. Also, to get to their official website, go to the About page, click the official website, and this will take you to their website, and you can read all the information and download the latest versions from here or from GitHub, depending on where you want to get it from. So I will leave a link for this in the video description, but basically this is probably the easiest way to control all of the fans inside your computer. I just want to quickly show you the documents section here because documentation has fan curves, linear tells you all about the linear section. It also tells you all about uh, the graph section. You can click on graph and it will explain what it does and how you can set it up. And we have the mixed fan curve, trigger, flat, sync and auto sections here. You can go through and read all this information at your own leisure. Anyway, with that said, I think that is going to be about it. I hope this video helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.